Hello, welcome to SD Data. I am Raghavendra Mishra, and in today's video, we are going to test an API using Karate Framework. So let's get started. So what is Karate Framework? So Karate is the only open source tool to combine API test automation, mocks, performance testing, and even UI automation into a single unified framework. So we need a uh, few prerequisites uh, to to test an API using Karate Framework. So what are those prerequisites? So we need to have Maven dependencies for Karate. We need to have IDE. So you can use Eclipse, you can use IntelliJ, you can use VC, and we need to have JDK. All right. So let's get started with creating a Maven project first. So here you can see. You can search for Maven, and uh, it is highlighted. You have to click on Next, and you have to create a simple project. You can click on Next. You have to grip. You have to give group ID. It should be unique. And you have to give artifact ID and click on Finish. So you have created a Maven project. Now, double click or click on the uh, Maven project called Karate. You get pom.xml. So we have to add Karate dependency here in this file. Right. I'm just giving a couple of enters here, and let's search for. Those dependencies in Maven repository, MVN repository dot com. So search for Karate, and you'll see some results. So I'm just opening these three Karate Core, Karate Apache, Karate J unit in th next three tabs. So by the time when I'm demoing this, demoing this. Uh, I'm uh, I'm having Karate Core 1.3.0 RC2 version of Karate Core. So I'm just clicking on this, and you can see multiple tabs, okay? Like Gradle, Gradle Short, Kotlin, and all. So we need to add this dependency. We need to copy this snippet from here and add it to your pom.xml inside dependencies. Tag. Okay, and similar for Karate Apache. So I'm just I have copied it and will paste it here. And similarly for your Karate J unit. Here you go. So. You see on the left hand side there is no Maven dependency as of now until you save it. So when you save this file with Control S, so you see Maven dependencies is this folder is created. So all the Maven dependencies has been added to your project Maven project. Okay, so you can see your Karate jars inside this dependency. Can you see that? Karate Apache, Karate J unit. Okay, all right. So let's go to this SRC test Java, and we'll create a folder called test or whatever you want to name it. So that folder will get created inside Java folder. Okay. And inside this test, you have to create a file called test dot feature file. So here you see our test dot feature is having some content inside it. You can remove the content because we are going to write a fresh content on this. And you see the icon, cucumber like icon uh, in this. So, because I have already installed Cucumber plugin, 
So which is why it is showing that icon for me for if I save the file with feature ext uh, with the feature extension, I can see that icon. If it is not there, you can go to Mark Eclipse Market Marketplace and you can search for Cucumber plugin. So for me, uh, it will show installed because I have already installed. But if you don't see this. Uh, plugin installed in your Eclipse, you can install it. So let me search Cucumber and as I said, it is already installed. So for me, it will uh, say installed. If it, it is not installed, then you have to click on install like any other plugin. Okay, let's cancel this. And let's write a feature. I mean, let's write a feature file. This is Karate Framework and I will write a scenario here. This is API Test Testing Demo. Alright, now we have Gherkin uh, syntax like given when and then there are many more so for our demo purpose we are just going to test the api when the method is then status is okay status so what should be the url so we need to have some api for testing so let's search for some sample REST API for testing. So we have got this REC response, REC REST.in site. And here you see, if you scroll down, you see a lot of dummy APIs are there for you. Okay. So we are interested in testing get API. So let me open this in the new tab and see, I'm getting the response of this request this API okay so let me add this in the URL and the method is get since we are going to test the get method and the status should be 200 so let me save this and I will right click on this file I can change the indentation also so let's not worry on that part and let's run it cucumber feature it shows some error. It says Java test.feature is not found. So we are inside test and here it is not looking for test. So we probably need to change the run configuration for this. And here you see there is a test folder and we have to add test.feature in our run configuration. Okay. So let's run it. So looks like uh, this test dot feature file has uh, successful run, and then we can see the report. We can refresh this project, and we can see the target Karate reports inside this, and. Here comes HTML file. So you can open that HTML file in a web browser. And you see the first test which we have written is passed. Okay. So if there is any syntax error or anything of that kind, uh, so it will not let you, you know, uh, see the result in green, or rather it will show the failure, right? Which needs to be rectified. Okay. Now you can expand and you can open this in your uh, web browser also if you want. Okay, let's go back to the test folder. And here, now we can, since we have a successful run uh, for this uh, feature file, we can create a test runner uh, class for the same. So what is the use of test runner? 
So here, since it is going to be a Java file, we can put all the assertion, annotation, every uh, everything, whatever is possible, right, to control the feature file. So we can have some annotation called run with. So for example, if you want to run, uh, if you want to add your test as a smoke test, if you want to run your test as a regression test, you can add those annotation, right? So as I'll just uh, mention karate dot class and that will add com dot intuit karate dot j unit dot karate okay so we, uh, automatically these two uh, packages will be imported and uh, if we include this annotation okay so now let's run this so what it will do it will run your test as a j unit now okay so you see your j unit test is passed okay you can probably have your j unit here and this is karate framework this is what we have written in this feature all right so that is how you have to use karate uh, framework it is very uh, simple and uh, it will help you you know automate your api test your api very quickly you don't need to have you know a programming background at all so any qa who is interested in uh, testing api uh, uh, they can use Karate Framework quite easily. So that's it guys. Uh, hope you have liked this video. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, keep learning. See you next video. Thank you.